This is your top 10 new features for Wacom Embroidery Studio 2025. Number 10, font minimum and maximum size display. Embroidery fonts in Wacom Embroidery Studio 2025 now display a recommended minimum and maximum font size in the font dropdown list. This size will act as a guide to ensure that when you use that font, you are stitching it within the size that the font was created for. Number 9. Export Machine File Docker When you export an embroidery machine file in Embroidery Studio 2025, the export file will display in a new exports docker and allow you to keep working while you design exports. It will show you the progress of your export and when it is done. Number 8. Hoopmaster Mighty Hoop Hoopmaster Mighty Hoops are now available in Embroidery Studio 2025. From the new Hoop Toolbar, select the Mighty Hoop of your choice to display on screen with your embroidery design. Number 7. Coral Draw Graphics Suite 2024. Corel Door Graphics Suite 2024 is included with Embroidery Studio 2025 designing and decorating levels. Import rich vector graphics and take advantage of the powerful graphical editing capabilities of Corel Draw. Select your vector graphics and with a single click, convert instantly to an embroidery design. Number 6. Multi Hooping and Multi Position Hooping. Select your hoop from the hoop drop down list, then click Hooping Mode from the hoop toolbar. Click to automatically set your hoops and Embroidery Studio will calculate the number of hoops and design split lines for you. Click to preview the results. Then inspect each hoop design including placement stitches as a multi-hooping guide. Number 5. Improved connectors display. Unwanted trims can be costly for your production and easily missed in your embroidery design. Well, not anymore with Embroidery Studio 2025. Connectors such as trims and stops are brightly highlighted in your design to ensure you can easily spot them, then modify your design to remove those costly trims. Number 4. Keyboard Design Collections Keyboard Design Collection allows you to take designs or stitch files that look like letters and map them to keyboard strokes on your keyboard. Create a new keyboard design collection, then select each character design and map it to a keyboard character. Then with your lettering tool, select the keyboard design collection from the font list and simply type on screen. Number 3. Rounded Corners for Rectangles Rectangle objects now support rounded corners in Embroidery Studio 2025, saving you countless digitizing time. Enter a rounded corner value in the rectangle corner pop-up, or use your mouse to drag corners on screen. You can also adjust each corner independently to get the exact rounded design layout you want. Rounded corners also support all outline stitch types and fill stitch types to give you endless creative opportunities. Number 2. Laydown Stitch Laydown Stitch will automatically create a flattening stitch for your design to help it sew on high pile fabric like toweling or fleece. Select your design and click Laydown Stitch. Select from a pre-formatted shape or specify your own custom offset. Select a colour and preview the output. Embroidery Studio would generate either a single or double layer flattening stitch, then stitch the rest of your design, allowing you to tackle any high pile fabric challenge that comes your way. And number one, center all. Sometimes you want your embroidery designs to be exactly centered in the zero zero in the design window, exactly centered in your hoop, and set to auto start and end in the center of your design. What was once three steps is now a single click with Center All. Welcome Embroidery Studio 2025 is available now. To learn more about these and other new features, head to welcome.com.